G'day everyone, Envy here and we're back with some more MTG Arena. Today, we're playing his, some Historic Brawl, uh, because Historic Brawl uh, bleh, event is still running and it's a lot of fun and I'm having so much fun with a few decks. A few I've already showcased in the past, but a new one that I've decided to be playing this time around, which I've had great success with, is my Vampire Brawl deck, a Sorin Imperious Bloodlord Brawl deck. So... Uh, Sauron the Imperious Blood Lord is probably one of my favorite planeswalkers there is. He's a vampire. Um, he's, he costs three mana to play. He has two upticking abilities and one um, down. His f first ability is the entire creature you control gains death, touch, and life. It's end of turn. If it's a vampire, you put a plus one plus one count on it. You can sacrifice a vampire when you do. He deals three damage at any target and you gain three life. And his tick, tick down ability for three, you may put a vampire creature card from your hand onto the battlefield. So, really cool. To make the most of this, we are running a lot of vampires to swarm the field. Some return from the graveyard to bring our vampires back, some recursion, some destruction, and some life gain and punishing our, our opponent for us gaining life. So we can get a lot of life in this deck, keeping us alive for long periods of time. So let's go through very briefly the cards we're running. So let's go with the one drop. So we're running one cling to dust. Uh, it exiles a card from a graveyard, could be useful, and we can also gain life from it, which is really fun. Fatal push for destroying small things. Night of the Ebon Legion, Vampire that can get bigger and give itself Death Touch. Vampire of the Moon has Death Touch and Life Link and Vicious Conquistador. When it attacks, opponent loses one life, plus has two toughness, so you can trade a one for one with it. For our two drops, we've got Blood Artist, which is a fantastic card. Whenever a, a creature dies, so a player loses one life and you gain one life. Really a lot of fun. Uh, two, one, uh, Blood Burger, when, as, long as, your, as long as your turn has Life Link, Dust Legion Zealot, when it enters the battlefield, you draw a card and lose one life, eliminate for removing a low mana cost creature, feed this one for killing a creature or an enchantment, Heartless Act for killing a creature with counters, Malakir, Malakir Cull Blade, when a creature dies, it's a counter, uh, Null Priest of Oblivion is menace and Life Link, but if we kick it, we get to return a creature from our graveyard to a battlefield, so it's, it can be quite uh, powerful. One O Swarm Vampire it hits the battlefield tapped. It's a 2 2 for 2, but you may play it from your graveyard if you gain life this turn. So if it's a recursion card, we can keep getting back if we need to. Gifted Aetherborn uh, has Death Touch and Life Link, is really good. For our 3 jobs, Elf with Nightmare for destroying creature and exile in graveyards. Marauding Blight Priest, whenever we gain life, opponent loses one life. Silver Smote School. Um, if you've seen my other vampire deck for Historic I played, uh, Soren can sacrifice Ghoul to deal 3 damage at the end of your turn because you gain 3 life. Ghoul will keep coming back for unlimited, for an infinite um, amount of fodder for damage. 1 Veto because, you know, we're gaining a lot of life. Let's do damage. 1 Bloodthirsty Errorlist for gaining life, making it bigger. Murderous Rider for killing stuff. Who's the only creature who's not a vampire? <laughs> because he's just too good not to have him. One Nighthawk Scavenger, uh, Flying Death Touch Lifeling can get very powerful. One Bontu's Monument, uh, all our black creatures cost less to cast, and <clears throat> whenever we cast a spell, we get to the opponent lose one life and we gain one life. One Herald's Horn, to make our vampires cheaper, plus we can look at the top card of our deck and we can gain extra cards, and we're running a lot of creatures in the deck, so it's very likely we can hit a vampire. And one Icon Vance Street to make our vampires bigger. For our four drops, we've got Sanctum Seeker. When a vampire you control attacks, um, you lose, the opponent loses one life, you gain one life. Thirsting Bloodlord, other vampires get bigger. Twilight Prophet. Uh, so at the start of our turn, if we have ten more permanents, we look at the top cover of our library, and we get to put in our hand. We get to put in our hand, and each opponent loses life which is the converted mana cost so if we draw for example sanctum if we look at the top card sanctum seeker we put in our hand we gain four life and our opponent loses four life which is really cool <clears throat> and one Vraska's contempt for exiling creature or planeswalker for our five drops one epicure of blood uh whenever you gain life opponent loses one life uh, exquisite blood whenever your opponent loses life you gain that much life champion of dusk which is one of the best vampires is when it hits the battlefield, we get to draw X amount of cards where X is the amount of vampires we control, including himself, and then we lose that much life as well. And Drana, the last blood chief, flying, when it at attacks, our opponent chooses a non-legendary creature card in our graveyard, and we have to put that on the battlefield, and it gets plus one plus one counter, and it's still a vampire, so it's really cool. One Command the Dread Horde, with all that life, we can get stuff back, including our opponent's cards, and one Haunt of 
high tower flying a lifelink when it attacks opponent discards a card and when it's put into the graveyard it gets a counter pretty cool and for our lands we are running 24 lands one baron more one bajuka bog one Cabal Stronghold, one Castle Lockfane, 19 Swamps, and a Radiant Fountain. And that's the deck. It's pretty simple, pretty fun. And it's just, I mean, it's a good old-fashioned tribal deck. I don't know what else you want from it. But let's go play some historic, some historic Brawl and see how we're doing with our Vampire Brawl deck. Let's get going. All right, going first against Krenko, which is, you know, always a fun one to verse against. So let's go. Let's get going. Let's get those vampires down. So red card. Ooh. Hmm. Swan. Blood Artist. Let's just get going. Unless I hit a vampire next turn. I will go Herald's Horn, <clears throat> just for that draw power early on. All we're going to do is keep killing Cranko. Hmm. Not kind of kind of what I wanted, but he will put Cranko down next turn. So, let's go Herald's Horn. Vampire. And hit him again. Now my vampires are cheaper. And I can play them. So much fun. There we go. Oh, I'll take that. That could be useful later on. So, this is me uh, destroying Krenko. Bye bye, Krenko. And. Go back to his thing. You can take damage. Play you. Play you. Hit him in the face. Beautiful. Volley veteran. All right. Yeah, that's all right. Could be worse. Play, play. If I swing at him, he'll die. Let's go. Swing first. Thank you. you can do the damage to him, and Volley Veteran can die. And do some more damage. Beautiful. Then we're at a position where we can get all our creatures back should they all die. <laughs> In graveyards, take his ones as well. Oh, that's so good. It's fun. What do I get? Another vampire? Feed the swarm. Not a vampire, but I can take it. Alright. Um. Yeah, let's go. Make Blood Eyes a bit more powerful. Or powerful at all. Did he just blow up? What did he just do? Alright, take the damage. Oh, empty to ambush. Goodbye. That's how many creatures. I've lost three. He's lost two. Franco's back. Oh. Eliminate. Top deck. That sweet top decking of Eliminate. Very nice. Send it back. Just gonna... Just gonna tick myself up a bit. Keep playing your Goblin, man. Or just Scoop. Works for me. Alright, go against Sark. Uh, 
Okay, this is alright. I mean, I got an old piece. It's cold plate. It's alright. So I think we'll go with the Baron Moor. I think it's a good one. Because we can put turn 3. Turn 3, put down Sorin and put down Drana. If I lose creatures, I can do it. So we'll go with this. We'll go with the Baron Moor. Sark and Fireblood. It's not fun. Let's go, my Kia Coldblade. Heart of Kieran. Ah, he's going to try and crew stuff. Interesting. Alright. Thank you. Thank you, Drana. The last Blood Chief. Sarkin's coming down. I'm not sure why he played Sarkin so early. Discard and have you draw one card. You're still going to lose your Sarkin next turn. You have to replay him. Whoa, Dragon Quartermaster. Jeez, that's a that's a balls one. That's a ballsy one. All right, here's my plan. Whenever you gain life this turn, do do do. do. Hmm. All right. Let's go, Drana. And scoop. Beautiful. <laughs> Alright, I get to go first again, which is really nice, actually. Yeah, I don't care. This is fine. So, Kalia Zenith Seeker is a good card. Very good fun. Uh, let's go Knight of the Ebon Legion. Hopefully we hit another land. Um, otherwise, I'll put, I'll put more down now. And then I can get you, and then you, and you. Otherwise, I'll put you, and then you, and use you. It makes sense. It makes sense to me. Hello, my friend. Are you playing? Oh, you are thinking what you're doing. I can have ancestry is nice. Black and red. Nice. Well, Fatal Push is good. Alright, let's go Soren. Let's put Morning Light Priest down. Off you go, my friend. Alright, I reckon I can answer. Well, actually, these actually are both good cards. Maybe we just keep this up. Or we can do it in their turn. How likely is getting a haste? Probably not. All right. Um, yeah, let's go put some, put a counter on Knight of the Ebon Legion, give him some of that sweet, sweet lifelink. Let's go Icon of Ancestry for vampires, make them all a bit stronger. And let's go for an attack. Gonna get that life, gonna get a token, perfect. Now you can play Kalia, the Zenith Seeker, and we're going to Murderous Rider her. That was cool. Cool animation, man. What'd you find?
for an angel demon and or oh, yeah. one of them put him into okay he chose angel of grace Ooh, all right Alright, sounds good to me. Um, alright. Okay. So, we're going to go with that. Destroy the Kalia. That's going to die. Going to tick my dude up. Let's make it on you. And let's go. Ooh. Terror of Mount Volusus. Flying double strike. Doesn't have haste. Which is good. Alright, so he was, he's going to flash in this one. Which I know he's going to do. He has to, right? Hmm, if only I knew what you were going to do. Oh, man, this is going to be fun. Oh boy, you in for a wild ride. So here's what we do. Here's the game plan. We're going, if we sacrifice a tippet, he has to do this to get the guy in. Then we swing and we get him. Yeah, that's it. So I'm going to go sacrifice my silver mock ghoul. Here. To hit him in the face. He'll flash in his angel of grace. To save himself. Nope, he didn't bother doing it. There's no way out. And that's it. Ooh, um, what's it called? Kalia. Ali Alia. I'm going to keep this. Mostly because I have Cold Blade, Thing and Thing, let me draw a bunch of cards. Um, flying creatures. Not so great for us. But we can live with it. We've got removal, other flying creatures that can gain life, so... What's the worst that can happen? Just gonna. Hello? Hello, Thop to Smith Gray. Are you gonna do something or do I have to stand here? Oh, such fun when people decide they don't wanna play. Oh. Was. Is he here or is he not here? Oh, he's here. He was just taking a long time to do stuff. Well, that makes you feel pretty good then. If he's that desperate for wins that he's trying to stall, feels good. Feels good, man. Alright, that nice ramp. Gotta get that ramp out. Gotta get that champion of dusk in. Oh, yes. Now that is a next turn play. Uh, this one. Because then all my vampires will be way cheaper. And I can keep playing vampires. Just keep getting my vampires back. Mindstone. Ooh, going for that ramp, are we? Very nice. I like that. Midnight Reaper. Uh, vampire, please. What do you put down? Midnight Reaper. Um, let's go, Death Touch Lifelink.
I mean, if you kill Sauron, it's unfortunate, but it will happen. Or he wants to put... No, we're still getting more ramp. Oh, uh, okay, cool. If you swing, I'll lose Car Carblade if I have to. No, he didn't attack me. Interesting. Nope. That is a land. The lands are still good, so, you know, I can live with that. Now... I could go Veto. I might do that. I might go Veto and I might go with Sanctum Seeker. And then I'll go put my tick up on my Champion of Dusk. And let's go for the attack. Yeah, let it go. That was a big move, though. You draw a card. I hope you found what you need to get past, man. I've got 35 life. What do you got? I can eliminate Aaliyah if Aaliyah comes down. We might face the board wipe. <laughs> Massacre Worm. That only kills one of my creatures. Interesting. Whenever a creature enters and that loses one, you okay. Sounds fun. Sounds good, I suppose. Well, um, pretty sure this is GG, my friend. Let's uh tick ourselves up a bit more. So now we've got seven. And if we swing. He blocks, he takes 7 damage, he goes through for 3, yeah, it's all good. It's all gravy. Let's, put blood. let's just build a board. Yeah, let's go. Oh, he can't block, if he blocks Veto, he takes the other one, so yeah. Yeah, it's over. That's GG, my friend. Just hit that with that. Done. With the good game, my friend. Alright, it's your turn to block, man. No, nope. that's it. And that's it. Oh, Sorin is such a good commander. God, he's so good. Hey everybody, welcome back. So, we managed to win those four games um, in a row without much too much trouble. I mean... Sauron works really well, and a lot of the vampires have got a lot of value when they hit the battlefield, and a lot of recursion, a lot of removal, which makes me very happy to play, because it's a good deck. But I would suggest anyone who hasn't already um, played the historic brawl um, challenge currently up on Arena, I'd highly recommend you give it a shot. Not everyone is playing um, Omnath and Ugin and all those good planeswalkers. In fact, I think I've probably played over 200 games, and I haven't seen a single Omnath or the other one, the one that counter spells every single time and you draw a card. I haven't seen any of those ones pop up, which is really cool. So it's really not that bad. So give it a shot. You might have some fun. But anyway, that was the deck for today. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure you hit that like button. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button to keep up to date with any new decks that I put out. I do put a new deck out every second day. If you enjoyed the deck, let me know what you liked about it in the comments section below. If you have any suggestions on how to improve it or additions to the deck, please leave that in the comments section below as well. I'd love to hear your feedback. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all again next time. Bye for now, everybody.